How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today is just going to be a quick how-to on how to download mods for MX bikes. Uh, so what you're going to do first is go to Google or your search bar and you're going to type in MXB mods and then uh, just search it and it comes up right here. And once you're there, uh, what I like to do is I'll bookmark it. So in the upper right hand corner of your search bar, I just click the little star and then it just stays right here. So it's just a quick, you know, click and then it brings you right back to the front page. Um, so let's say you want to download a new track. Uh, so you go to tracks, drop down menu. Uh, you want to do a moto track. And then I have a bunch of these already. So we're going to go to the next page. And there's a track that I've been, I've been wanting to download right here. The Fat Cat Moto Park. Uh, we're gonna give it a go. It looks pretty good. So you just scroll down. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. Ooh. So you just scroll down. Uh, right here, it has two download links. You guys can pick either one. I'm sure that one's fine. I've never heard of it. So I'm gonna go with the one I have, which is Mega. And you're gonna click that and wait for this to go. All right, and then just click download. And it's 191 megabytes, so it might take a little bit depending on your internet speed. Uh, if you're Brock, it takes like 20 minutes. I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, mine's going, it might all take about a minute. So we'll see you when it's done. All right, so now that it's done, uh, we're going to minimize that. Go to your files, to your downloads, and there it is right there. So what I like to do is cut. Sometimes it'll be a WinRAR. Uh, or just a compressed file. So just go ahead and extract it and then whatever comes out of that folder, just do the same process as I'm doing right now. You're going to go down to documents and find this folder right here called Piboso. If it's not there, just go to this PC and search Piboso and there it is right there. Uh, that holds your MX bikes folder. Double click that, go to mods. And since we downloaded a track, we'll go to tracks and it's a motocross track. And right here, this is where all of your tracks that you've previously downloaded will be. Uh, if it's your first time, it'll be empty. So you just go paste and there it is right there. Uh, it's a PKZ file and sometimes it'll be folders like these ones. Um, we don't really need to know what those are about. It's I'm assuming it's just, you know, all of these things just in a folder. Uh, so once you've done that, you can exit out of there and load up MX bikes. If you download tracks or gear while the game is running, uh, you'll have to exit the game and go back into the game. And um, yeah, it won't show up until you exit and come back. So what we're going to do is go here and we downloaded Fat Cat. So we're going to go up to Fat Cat. Oh, and it has three. Nice. Uh, we'll do main and so, oh, whoops, main and then so that is the track we just downloaded. So we're going to load the game uh, to the more like gear mods, helmet mods, bike mods, whatever you guys have. Uh, the more stuff that you guys have in your download folder, the longer it'll take to load in. I've found uh, when you're playing online, like so when there's 24 people and I have a bunch of gear downloaded, chances are I have some of their gear downloaded and it has to load like all that in and it's just really laggy. If you know you want to have your game load a little faster, I definitely would recommend deleting some of the things you don't use if, you know, your friends don't use it or you don't want it to show up in the game. So once we're here, you know, you just, you're good to go. That's how you download a track. And um, yeah. Oh. One thing worth mentioning, um, sometimes, wow, this track is sick. One thing worth mentioning is sometimes a mod won't work. Uh, and the first thing to do when that happens is go back to the page you downloaded it from and just check the comments and make sure that there isn't like any mod dependencies, which means you'd have to have another mod downloaded for that one to work. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing to do. And if that doesn't work, just keep an eye on it and um, wait for them to maybe upload an updated link or maybe go down in the comments and there might already be a link there. So just, you know, and on the rare occasion too, that some mods, I'm writing this track backwards, uh, 
some mods just don't work. Um, you know, so also take that into consideration. Uh, first thing I do is delete the mod that you downloaded and then just try it again. And if that doesn't work, then, you know, go back to step one and just wait for them to update it or fix it. So yeah, I hope that helped. Uh, it definitely makes the game way more fun to download mods and like gear and tracks and stuff. So if you guys liked it, let me know. And also if you have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to get back to you guys. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching and have a good one.